good day, my spiritual seekers. Ours is not a caravan of despair. I'm lovers of leaving. Even if you've broken your vow a thousand times, come again. That's what Rumi says. So here we are being challenged in a historical moment that is seismic in changes. It's like a pivot, and there have been many pivots in history, and this may be one of them. And many people, including ourselves, suffer from being in inhibited versions, shrunken versions of what we could be. And although we can point to other people and say they have like spiritual cataracts, why can't they see? But the idea is not to point the finger at anyone. Like Swami Satchidananda says, if you point the finger at somebody, there are three fingers pointing back at you. So if you're a yoga practitioner, you recognize that there's something about having felt the center of your own sorrow that makes you want to align yourself with something different. In the Indian tradition, the eternal truth, which is a two power-packed words that are loaded with significance and uh, vast interpretations, called sanatna dharma. You tune into this universal creed that is not supposed to be listened to, or I should say, if you don't listen to it at your own peril, because then your actions are influenced by your own ignorance and aggression, and then the karma that accrues as a result of that, right, the cause and effect of your own ignorance and aggression, comes back to you as pain, limitation, and suffering. So we practice these techniques, heyam dukkham anangatam, for the pain which is to come, because we can't do anything about what's happened in the past, it's done. But even the present is happening right now. And to take care of it, we have to take care of it from this moment onward. Right? But the future stuff, once we start realizing how we've set it up, we have a lot of leeway over that. And that's where free will comes in. If we didn't have free will, no one could be responsible morally for any of our actions. But I do believe we do. So we are. And so here we are. We're going on our spiritual shopping spree, and uh, we're buying all the things that are really good for us that we want to wear outwardly in our behavior and actions. And that is uh, ethically, be straight, treat everybody kind, be truthful to them, don't be deceitful, give as much as you can, make a kind world, that kind of stuff. And then we, we buy the asanas, the poses feel good, we buy the breath work, Breathing feels good. We buy the deep relaxation. Letting go of tension feels good. And then even meditating, learning to first calm your mind, clear your mind, focus your mind, concentrate your mind, and then from there, let go of the mind. Remember, all thoughts are just thoughts judging themselves. This is a high thought. This is a low thought. This is a beautiful thought. This is an ugly thought. This is a holy thought. This is an impure thought. It's all thoughts, whether they're monstrous or beautiful. Just another thought. Let it go. Empty your mind. Find out what happens if you would experience effortless being. So to that extent, we're following the path of Shiva, the Lord of Yoga. And although he is often pictured as meditating on Mount Kailash or in the forest, doesn't want to be disturbed, away from the haunts of humanity. And uh, yogis, the, he's the Lord of Yoga, even though Krishna is the Lord of Yogis. He protects the yogis, and he's also known as Mityam Jaya, the conqueror of death, and also known as Shankara, joyful death. And that's probably the part of him that's Nataraj, does the dance, the Leela, he plays with life, cosmic, cosmic drama. And then, of course, he's also Pashupati, the lord of all creatures. He's both the creator and the destroyer. That's why he's the cosmic phallus, and he's also the lord of death. So with all these images, uh, he in some way is who we are, the people who are grappling with all these issues and hopefully experiencing the dance at the same time. So let's get into it. Today we're doing Ardha Chandrasana, inhaling left, exhaling right, cooling the nervous system with the Mool Bandhas on the inhale and the Uddiyana Bandhas on the exhale. So get your seat, stretch up, Don't forget to initiate not just from the spinal lift, but now you can see there's one lift. And now watch happens when I activate my legs. Oh, there's another little lift. You have to learn to maintain that while you do the asanas to strengthen your legs, your hips, your groins. 
All right, so with this lift in the chest, release the chin down. You know, it's as if there's a movement from your, your chin back toward the ear, back and up. In fact, if you, if you did this, if you move this part of your chin back and up at the same time as you kind of raise, raise your skull with your hands, you'll feel that little neck rock. Not too much, because then you can hear how the voice is cut off, but just enough where you're creating that lock in the neck. Jalan Darabhan. Close the eyes, take a few restorative breaths. First round will be three continuous cycles. Open nostril left, open nostril right, and then restore the breath. So exhale your breath, raise your hand, walk the right, open left, and breathe. Block the left, and exhale right, breathe. Block right, open left, inhale. Block left, exhale, open right. Block right, inhale, open left. Block left, exhale, open right. Drop the hand, restore the breathing. So that's the first and easiest cycle. And after practicing Pratiloma and Anuloma, I'm sure you'll find it's much, much easier only to have to do this on one side. And do advanced practice here. All right, second cycle, <clears throat> second round. The walk. Partially closed left nostril, inhale, open left nostril, exhale, open right nostril, exhale, with the bandhas. All right, exhale your breath, raise the hand, walk right, partially closed left, inhale. And pull the root lock. Let it go, walk left, open right, exhale. Hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock and breathe. Always pay attention to the quality of that first restorative inhale. You don't want to make it smooth, noiseless. No tension, no trembling, no agita. Exhale the breath. Second. Cycle, second round. Walk right, partially closed left, inhale. Pull the root lock. Let the lock go, block left, open right, exhale. Block the hand. Udiyanabandha. Release the lock, restore the breath. Third cycle, second round. Raise the hand, block right. Partially closed left, inhale. Squeeze the root lock. Release, block left, open right, exhale. Relax the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock and restorative breath. Third round, it's gonna be open left, inhale, partially closed right, exhale. How do we distinguish between the root lock and the uh, belly lock? Well, in Asharini Mudra, you're pulling the muscles around the rectum and the pelvic floor slightly together, in toward each other, and then up toward the lower abdominal area. Whereas in Uddiyana Bandha, you're pulling the whole abdominal area all the way up to the diaphragm 
and you're not purposely pulling the pelvic floor, but you're seeing that it pulls the tissue because that's just below it. And so it's including a little bit of the pelvic floor, but not necessarily with Ashwini Mudra. You just have to find out by practice how different it is. All right, third round. Exhale the breath. Establish the posture. Raise the hand. Block right, open left, inhale. Root lock. Release the lock, lock left, partially close the right, exhale. Drop the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, restore to breathing. Second cycle. Third round, raise the hand, block right, open left, inhale. Pull the root lock. Release the lock, block left, partially close the right, exhale. the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock and have a moment of breathing. Third cycle, third round. As the exhale goes, raise the hand. Block the right, open the left, inhale. Squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block left, partially closed right, exhale. Relax the hand, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the lock, restorative breathing. All right, up to the fourth round. This is where we partially close both nostrils and we pinch the nostrils closed while we're doing the kumbhakas, doing the mulbanda and the uyana bandha. All right, let's give it a shot. Exhale, keep the posture going, raise the hand, block the right, partially close the left and inhale. Pinch the nostrils closed, pull mo bandha. Let the lock go, keep the left nostril blocked, partially close the right and exhale. Block the nostrils, Uddiyana Bandha. Release the hand, release the lock. Restorative breathing. Notice how you have to adjust for both nostrils being partially closed when we do the technique and also pinching the nostrils. Uh, when you pinch the nostrils, notice which one is more challenging to do, the inhale or the exhale. Second cycle, fourth round, exhale your breath, raise the hand, block the right, partially close the left and breathe. Block both nostrils, squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, keep the left blocked. Narrow the right nostril partially and exhale. Pinch it closed, putting on a bandha. the hand, release the lock, and breathe. Okay. 
final cycle, fourth round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block the right, partially open the left and breathe. Block the nostrils, Udiya, excuse me, Mubanda. Release the lock, keep the left block, partially open the right and exhale. Block both nostrils, Udiyana Bandha. Release the hand, release the lock, restorative breathing. Slowly raise your head, gently open your eyes. All right. Hope your nervous system is nice and cool. Enjoy your day. Keep putting out good vibes. Maintain social distance. Pray for everybody. And remember to have fun while you're living large.